you know that by giving your attention to something you activate a vibration that law of attraction responds to so you understood very clearly that the variety was very advantageous to you because you knew that the variety that you were being born into would cause you to focus and that the focusing would be the summoning of that which would be your life experience and you weren't worried about the variety because you knew that you were being born with a guidance system that would call you toward the best vantage point you knew that your emotional guidance system would inspire you because you want to feel good everyone does and at that point you really remembered it that you would be inspired to those things to talk about those things to ponder those things to remember those things to focus upon you knew that you would feel their content in your emotional center and so you said what a wonderful idea this is there's enormous variety that I get to choose from and from my exposure to this contrast I will come to my own personal preferences which then source energy will help me to create so we've been giving you this story in a variety of different ways because most of you have forgotten it by the time we meet you and we want you to come back into memory of this that when you ask it is given every single time no exceptions we began by telling you that you are the creator of your own experience and that when you desire something and believe it then it is and while no truer words have ever been spoken many of you had a hard time wrapping your thoughts around that we think because you weren't really sure what beliefs are or what you really believe we would like you to understand that what a belief is is a pattern or a habit of vibrational offering it's just a thought that you keep thinking but you offer many vibrational patterns without really consciously turning your undivided attention to them you don't rethink every belief every time you think it law of attraction helps you in that in other words it is common for you to offer similar thoughts over a lifetime you might have been taught them by those who surrounded you and you may not have ever questioned them so you just began to or continued to think those thoughts so you continued to develop a stronger and stronger vibrational pattern about different subjects and that vibrational pattern is what we are calling your belief but we are also calling it your point of attraction because what you're offering vibrationally is what law of attraction is responding to so we said when you want something and you believe it now it is and the reason for that is the vibration of your desire and the vibration of your belief are in one place so you're offering one singular signal which makes you very powerful in the achievement of that then we got a little more detailed with you as we began to explain to you that you are the creator of your own experience and that it is a three-step process of creation step one is you must ask well that happens easily your contrast causes preferences to be born constantly preferences or full-blown desires it does not matter what you call them when you have life experience preferences are born step one step two is source you are an extension of source you know when you give birth to a desire source immediately becomes vibrationally compliant and compatible with the desire that you have given birth to now we want to stop there for a moment and talk about that because we don't think that most of you understand the full implication of that who better source knows than you on the leading edge of your life experience to decide what you prefer even if you are the one celled amoeba in the ocean you're having exposure to contrasting experience which is causing a preference to be born and source knows that you source itself in this physical body is having this leading edge experience and you are the best one you're on the front line you are living the nitty-gritty you should know what you prefer and so when preference is born within you source comes into full and accurate and complete compliance with it that's why when you ask it is given every single time step one step two you ask source says yes you should know step three is you must be a vibrational match to what you're asking for if your environment causes you to want more wellness because you're sick 
Source says, we agree and it's on the way, but you cannot continue to beat the drum of illness and be a vibrational match to wellness. You've got to close that vibrational gap. And when you close that vibrational gap, now you are offering a singular vibration. And when you are offering a singular signal that law of attraction is responding to, now you get swift results. Now, most of you, this makes sense to you as you hear it, and you might be wondering, why haven't I thought about this sooner, or why haven't I been utilizing my guidance system more effectively? And we want to say to you that the reason that most of you are not already understanding this fully is because 99 and then some percent of every creation is complete in the vibrational ethers before you begin to see any physical evidence of it. So very often your desire is born, step one, and source says, yes, we agree, step two. And you work your way toward being in vibrational alignment with it. You're hopeful, you're optimistic, you really want it. And you're well along the way, but then you take score of the physical manifestation and you notice that it hasn't manifested yet. And then you sort of freak out and go in the opposite direction. We see you sick, getting better, sick, getting better, sick, getting better, sick, getting better. And then you announce the doctor says, I have something incurable. And we say, no, you don't. You're just not headed consistently enough in the direction toward wellness. You're getting all caught up in x-rays and tests and all of that stuff that's causing you to freak out and turn around and go back to sickness. And you say, well, how would I get sick to begin with? I didn't mean to get sick. And we say, you were offering vibrations that you weren't aware of. You were not quantifying your vibrational offering. And the reason that you were not aware of the vibrations that you were offering is because you lost sight, most of you long ago, of the guidance that is within you that is always calling you toward who you are and what you are wanting. Now, we're going to give you something here that you may not have heard from us or anywhere before. And we really want you to get this because it's a very important underpinning to understanding this basis of creation that you are upon. When you ask, it is given every single time. We are not kidding you even a little bit about that. And we want you to understand that the reason that that is so true is because you are extensions of source energy. You are that which man calls God here in these physical bodies having this physical experience. So out here on the leading edge, you know, God is not finished. Source energy is not finished, all perfect, waiting for you to catch up. You are the reason for the expansion of the universe. You said, I will explore contrast and yet a new idea will be born out of my particular experience. And Source says, yes, you are the part of us that is having that leading edge experience. And when it squirts out of you, we are thrilled that you have had the experience that has caused the birthing of that new desire and we go immediately into vibrational compliance with that new desire. When a desire is born within you, you must find vibrational alignment with it because you can't hold back. The most significant part of you has gone to a new place which you must join if you are ever to be fulfilled and joyful, you see. You cannot hold yourself back from the desires that your own life has caused you to give birth to. And when you try, you get all out of vibrational whack. We're going to show you how to close this vibrational gap. We're going to show you how to quantify your journey. We want you to know that it's an easy journey from sickness. We don't care what the sickness is to wellness from not enough money. We don't care how down and out you are to more money than anyone that you know. In other words, there is a vibrational escrow of billions of dollars that is potentially there for you to play with. You've just got to get in sync with it. You just have to become a vibrational match to what you want instead of being a vibrational match to what you don't want, or in most cases, to what you've got. Most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they're observing. So if they're observing things that they like, they offer a vibration and get more. If they're observing things they don't like, they offer a vibration and get more. So we would say, logically, you've got to deactivate those vibrations about what you don't want. But we would be leading you on a little bit of a wild goose chase because you can't deactivate a thought. Because when you look at the thought that you're trying to deactivate, you activate it. So the way that you stop activating a thought that you don't want is by activating a thought that you do want. But we think what's been going wrong with many of you is that you've been trying to make too big of a jump. When your vibration is over here and not feeling very good and you reach for one that feels a whole lot better, law of attraction is not helping you out because you can't reach that far 
you can't set your radio dial on 6.30 a.m. and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 FM. You've got to be somewhere in the vibrational vicinity. So as you make an effort to just fork a little more in the direction of what you're wanting, what you're going to begin to notice is you're going to every day close the gap between where you are and where you want to be on subject after subject. And since 99.9999% of every creation is complete vibrationally before you see the evidence, you're well along the way before you get the evidence, but there will be an improvement in your feeling of optimism and enthusiasm and passion. In other words, you're going to get so that you can feel that things are about to pop that's what that feeling of anticipation is that's what that feeling of positive expectation is you can literally feel your proximity to the manifestation of things that you want and we want you to have manifestation of all of these things that you want you live in a world where things manifest it is the leading edge place where things that you want do come into physical fruition but even more than that we want you to start enjoying the journey as you are closing this gap and further, we want you to understand that you will always be closing the gap because you will always be reaching to a new place and then you will be closing the gap. In other words, you have the exposure to experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes, you close the gap. You have contrasting experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes, you close the gap. You have contrasting experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes, you close the gap. So what we're saying to you, friends, lovingly, but with so much sincerity, we so much want you to hear it. You and we will eternally live our lives forevermore in the crack. <laughs> That's where life is lived. In other words, you've got to stop reaching for perfection. You've got to understand that it's always a journey. You're never, ever going to get it done. You don't go on vacation. You don't say, I'm going to go here and here and here and here and here and here. And then I'm going to come back home and then look at it objectively. Wait a minute. My final destination is home. I'm already there. Why go? <laughs> Because you don't go on a vacation to get it done. You go on a vacation for the thrill of going, for the fun along the way, for the new interest, for the new stimulation of thought, for the expansion of who you are. And so you're not trying to get anything done. We are eternal beings. So you said, I'll go into contrast. I'll go into this leading edge contrast and I'll have my personal perspective and the variety will cause me to want things beyond what I have and source will agree with it. And then all I've got to do is follow the summoning of source which always feels good and we say how simple is that how simple is that you see and sometimes you say well Abraham I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go and we say we'll go the way that feels the best and you say I can't tell which way feels best because it all feels awful we say then don't take any action right now but try to find thoughts that feel better because there is not one of you can, who cannot feel the difference between fear and anger and there's not one of you who has made that jump that doesn't know that anger is an improved feeling. And there's not one of you who would rather be happy than sad. In other words, you have a handle on your emotions. We've been feeling you out. We've been sniffing you out. We know that your guidance system is alive and well. So never again say, I can't tell. Instead say, I can tell by the way I feel whether I'm moving in the direction of what I'm wanting or whether I'm moving in opposition. And it is our promise to you that you can quantify every journey that is important to you and that there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. We'll be talking with you about anything that is important to you, the things that you've been wondering about, the things that you want to know in terms of implementing your teaching skills, in terms of improving the conditions of your experience, and in terms mostly, this is what we come for, to help you return to the joyful beings that you are so that you can live happily ever after as you've intended when you came forth into this physical experience. We want you to get happy, and we want you to get happy as quickly as you can, but we don't want you to be mad at yourself if you're not happy. We want you to be reaching for the best feeling thought you can find, but make peace with where you are. Because if you start beating up on yourself about where you are in relationship to anything, you're moving in opposition to what your source is calling. Do you understand that the emotion that you feel is about your alignment or misalignment with source? So when you love yourself, the reason it feels so good is because you're in complete alignment with source who loves you. When you feel proud, when you feel worthy, the reason it feels so good is because you're in complete alignment with source who adores you and knows your value and your worth. When you feel guilty when you feel angry at yourself when you are disrespectful of yourself or someone else 
the reason that it feels so awful is because you're choosing a vibration that source would never choose and the discord is felt in your emotions